Welcome. Well, I am excited to be here with Joe, and Joe has graciously offered to give his testimonial for five days to ignite your love light. Um, and Joe, I'm just going to start by asking, what drew you to purchasing the course and enrolling? Yeah, um, it was sort of a, a, a funny synchronicity of time because I had just finished one of your other courses, and mm -hmm. this one popped out. And and at first, I wasn't sure because I'm 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 not relationship focused at this point in my life. I'm more self focused at the moment. But then as I was reading through one of the descriptions, it talks about that it's, it's not about finding a person to to make you whole kind of thing. But it's more about discovering your own inner love and, and that light that way, which then radiates out and draws in whomever is being invited into relationship that way. Um, and so when I saw that I was like, yes, <laughs> because that's so much of where, where life is at right now for me, is it's um, seeking to cultivate in my own, um, my own inner world uh, and, and my own self-love and development that way. But also knowing that um, there is a, a desire for relationship when it's right. Mm -hmm. And so wanting to make sure that when it's right, I'm right. Right. and ready for that um, just so I don't end up doing another round of, of uh, not doing relationship well we'll just put it that way <laughs> <laughs> that's a good way to put it um, what would you say were some of your takeaways from the course um, there were there were a bunch of them um, I think part of it was um, the whole idea of sort of the the what am I what does my ideal partner look like kind of thing, but there's an understanding in that of, of who am I and where am I rooted in my life. Um, and so there were things like um, that revolved around uh, my own body image and body sense and, and, and felt personhood. And, and how, does, how do I interact with this ideal partner in that sense? How does that ideal partner reinforce some of the, the challenges I have with my body image? Um, and the fact that I'm, I'm the tall, skinny, nerdy kid growing up that was constantly picked on and, and felt physically weak and wasn't happy in my body. And, 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 and I do a lot of stuff now as far as activity and endurance racing and stuff like that, just sort of reinforce my sense of body and self and power and strength and, and feeling good in my body. But how could a, a potential partner accentuate that? Um, there was also elements of, um, I'm, I'm, a, like, I'm, a, I'm still a nerdy academic -y, intellectual kind of dude and and so how does that play into you know do i need a partner that i can sit down and have deep philosophical conversations about theology and philosophy and psychology or do i just need somebody who like supports and, and celebrates me in that process um and and can listen and give me creative space to go into my my world where i i, I drop into my world for five six hours at a time and i'm just immersed in research, but then I can pop out and engage and share with this person. Um, right. And then, then things like just sharing love for other people. So it was, it was what, what might this person look like down the road? And then how can I cultivate some of those own things in myself and celebrate some of those things in myself now? And so I'm actually building my life around those, those patterns and ideas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> glad that's what you took away from it. Um, <laughs> Uh, would you say there was a particular lesson or activity that stood out in your mind that you, or um, that might have been your favorite? I mean, I think there was there was a lot of the writing stuff that flowed out, but but the, the shamanatrix mm -hmm. ended up that 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 the shaman journey that way just blew me away. Um, and I've always valued things like EMDR and some of those journeys, or vision journeys, or you know spaces where you go into a meditative or hypnosis space and and sort of process through some stuff. But that particular one. Um, with, with her was 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 really potent and and it sort of took everything that was was happening and it just sort of sucked it all in together mm -hmm. um, and it all sort of like expanded and resonated out of it and it was sort of like all right I feel like this is the path forward from this place that I'm, I'm at and so for me it was finding myself um, moving into my heart and feeling comfortable in my own heart and my heart being my own home and mm -hmm. and allowing myself to be seen um, but also creating this space that feels home within myself that I can invite someone into at deeper levels than what is publicly seen. 
Sure. Um, and, and inviting into, into rooms that aren't necessarily visible from the outside, although there's still visibility for the world um, into, into a heart that feels like home. Yeah, thank you. And uh, my last question would just be, if someone were thinking about taking the course and they were on the fence about it, what guidance might you offer them? Um, you know, I, I think it, it comes down to, if you are in a, in a space of, if you've been seeking the right person kind of thing and obsessively sort of seeking the right person, this is an ideal course because it doesn't center on the right person. I mean, ultimately it theoretically gets to that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that ultimately is, is, is the end that way, but it sets you up. So when it's, so you're ready for the right person. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's, it's a different angle that way. So it's, it's, it's an, an invitation to rethink what it might look like to find the right person. Yes. Oh, I love that's what you got. <laughs> Thank you so much for offering your testimonial. I deeply appreciate that. Absolutely.